you can just make it so fun. I kind of love when it's sticking. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Shaquille YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna to do a review on this cutie patootie pixie cut on my head right now called Yoko by Ellen Villa. So stay tuned for all the info on that, but before I dive in, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay guys, I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, where is Amanda and what did you do with her? But I promise you, it's still me. I know, I know you don't really see me in pixie cuts very often. Usually I have longer hair, mid-length hair, but it's still Amanda. Whenever I put a pixie on and look at myself in the mirror, I am even always like, who is that staring back at me? It takes me a few minutes to adjust and get used to it because I am definitely not used to wearing pixies, especially the really short ones like Yoko by Ellen Villa. But quite honestly, this is one that I can get on board with. I really actually do love her. And you know what this one reminds me a lot of? This reminds me a lot of Risk by Ellen Villa but there's just a couple differences that I'm gonna point out for you. If you want to go back and see a review of Risk, I have done one before. So you can go back, search up Risk throughout my channel and a review will pop up for you and you can kind of look at the differences. But I think I like Yoko a little bit better. Crazy, I know. <laughs> Okay, let me just start off by talking about the color here. I am wearing Yoko in the color Platinum Blonde Rooted. So this color has sort of a mixture of the pearl platinum going on. We do have a little bit of lighter sandy tones in here. And we also have some pure white mixed into this color as well. And then of course, this is a rooted color. So we do have some, I would say medium brown roots in here. I just love the look of the root in a pixie like this because it just creates so much dimension. There's not a ton of dimension within the color. There's a little bit, but the roots just give such exciting interest to this color that I just absolutely adore. All right, now it's only natural to move on to talk about the fact that these are actually heat-friendly fibers. Now, I know a lot of people are concerned about heat-friendly fibers, especially in longer pieces, but in shorter pieces, in my opinion, I kind of love the heat friendly fibers and this is why. I find that heat friendly fibers over a little bit of time, they get a little bit gummy feeling. It's not that they get sticky. It's just, they sort of like clump together a little bit, but for pixie styles, I find that beneficial because it makes it a little bit more pliable and it makes it more easy to play with it in my opinion, especially in a pixie style like this, that is full of layers and that you can make look really funky if you wanted to. You can play around with this so much and those gummy heat friendly fibers give you the opportunity to do that a little bit. Whereas if it's just plain synthetic, plain synthetic is um, a little softer and fluffier, I feel, and aren't as pliable. So having these heat friendly fibers for me makes me feel like I can play around with it a little bit more without necessarily having to add extra product to it because it already has a little bit of a gummy texture to it. However, that being said, this would work really well with something like John Renault's Peace Out Cream to add to the ends of this wig to really bring out the texture because there is a lot of texture in this. Let me spin so you can see. Okay, now with these heat friendly fibers, you could absolutely get a flat iron. It probably would be harder with like a normal size flat iron. You might need like a mini one, but it would be really cool to add a little bit of curl to this. You can definitely add a little bit of extra style to, to it with some heat. Now, I wish I had risk on hand for you guys to show you a, a good comparison, but I can tell you that Yoko in comparison to Risk is going to be just a little bit longer. So for those of you who are like, ooh, I wish Risk was a bit longer, I want those bangs to be a bit longer, then come check out Yoko because Risk, their bangs in the front, I believe it measures something like one and a half inches, one and a quarter inches, 1.75 inches, somewhere around the one something inch mark. Whereas Yoko is three inch, is a three inch front. So the bangs are gonna, go, are gonna come down a little bit longer and cover more of that forehead, which a lot of you love. I even remember people making comments on my risk video being like, oh, I love it, but I wish it was longer in the front. Well, 
here, here she is. Also, Yoko is gonna be a little bit longer at the crown, at the sides. However, one thing I actually do love about this style is that Yoko is actually just a little bit shorter at the nape than Risk is. Just by a touch though. Yoko measures 1.75 inches at the nape, whereas Risk is two inches. So, I mean, a quarter of an inch, what's that gonna do? But I feel like I can tell. All right, something I do love about this, which it's not needed because we do have bangs, but it does have a lace front here. So that means if the wind blows, then you're gonna be able to have peace of mind that it's still gonna look natural. Also, watch, you can get this looking so cool in the front. You can spike it up. You can just make it so fun. I kind of love when it's sticking well, maybe not quite like that. If you were to style it like a little bit off, I don't know. I'm just really digging this. I feel like you could be a really cool person wearing this wig. Now, since I'm not actually keeping this one, I'm just putting it on for review purposes. I can't put all the styling cream in here to show you, but I feel like this is giving you a pretty good idea of ways that you can wear this. But just know that if you don't want to mess with it, if you don't want to make the texture come out and you don't want to add that styling cream or anything, this still can come down and just be a standard pixie. Like, look, here, I'm flattening her out and she is just laying nice like this. So this one is very versatile. You can have just this normal standard pixie or you can make her super cool and textured. You can also bring these bangs all the way forward in front of you, like so, or you can kind of brush them to the side a bit. And like I mentioned, with these heat-friendly fibers, they're a little bit pliable and they're gonna listen to you. <laughs> they're gonna let you do things to them for the most part and play around with them a little bit more easily. All right, now the top of this wig here is there's no monofilament on the top. It's just your basic cap. So there is a little bit of permatease in here, which I feel is absolutely necessary to help give you this volume if you want it. But like I mentioned, you can also bring it down. So because there is no monofilament on top, you're not gonna get that natural illusion of scalp here. But since this can be more of a messy look, you don't necessarily need a part line. And I feel that way about a lot of pixies. A lot of pixies, you can kind of mess around on top and you're not gonna need to see your scalp anyways. So I find that the lack of monofilament is an excellent way to save money, especially in these pixie cuts. However, we will find that there is a teeny tiny little monofilament crown on here. So what they've done is they've taken just a little circle of lace and they've made, let's see if I can even find it, it's so small. Okay, here it is. So they've taken this little tiny circle of lace, probably like this big, as big as my eye, and that is kind of where the fibers are coming out of to give a little bit, you know how sometimes people have that like swirl on the back of their head? That's sort of like what this is. I'm gonna come and see if I can show you. I don't even know what you're looking at right now, but right in here is our monofilament crown and that's gonna kind of be where the center point of the hair coming out is. Is it necessary for this? I don't think so. I don't think you need it, but it's there if you want it, I guess. Okay, so we also have these sideburns here. They're not too, too long, which I like. They are a little bit tuckable, but just be careful when you are tucking that you don't expose that um, ear tab here, but I feel like it's not going to because there are fibers in the front that aren't tuckable really that will be there to cover those ear tabs up. There's the other side. So all of these fibers, they are long enough to cover up um, the wefting in this cap. This is an open wefted cap and sometimes people are a little concerned that these pixie cuts just aren't long enough or they're too thin or they're not dense enough to cover up the wefting and you might be able to see through. But I think it does a pretty good job and you can't really see any wefting at all. Now, in terms of fit, most Ellen Villa wigs tend to fit a little bit smaller than average, and this is no different. Um, could this fit an average size person? I think so. Like there is stretch in uh, their circumference here. This could definitely fit an average person in your circumference, but just know that the rest of the cap, like the cap size in terms of front to nape, 
That I feel is where it's just a little bit smaller. Um, it's still a little bit big on my petite head. I measure 11 and a half inches front to nape, 11 and a half inches ear to ear, and this is where my ear tabs sit. They sit pretty perfectly actually. Um, and I measure 20.5 inches in circumference. So it fits me pretty well in the circumference. I would bring the adjusters in just a touch. It fits me pretty well front to back, but with a little bit extra bulk. And it fits me really well ear to ear. So could this fit a petite? Yes, if you brought your adjusters in just a little bit. Could this fit an average? Yes. Could this fit bigger than average? No, I don't think so. You may find it can stretch around your circumference, but you'll probably find that it would sit back too far if your front to nape is, is a bit bigger. <laughs> okay, now I look funny. <laughs> Let me just take this off right now so we can take a peek at your cap. So we do have a pretty basic cap for the most part. When I say basic cap, that just means it's um, machine made. So we have our machine made open wefting here. It's sewn on by a machine into rows. Open wefting is great for ventilation um, and for nice stretch. We do have some velvet ear tabs and a velvet extended nape. I find extended napes that are velvet are extra comfy. And then we have some Velcro adjusters. Now on the top, this is also all machine made here. It's wefted and this is where you would find the permatease. And here's your cute little <laughs> monofilament crown, the size of a quarter, maybe, maybe even a nickel. And then you're gonna find a really lovely lace front that's extended into your ear tabs. So it melts into your ear tabs, which makes a really nice transition there. You're not gonna find any seams showing where that transition is. Let me put it back on and show you. I feel like I could do a better job of showing you that lace front here. Ooh. Okay, Ellen Villa, I, I typically like their lace fronts. It's not very dense, makes it easy to pull back. And here's that transition into your ear tab. It's really well done. And especially when you have these lighter colors like they have here, um, the hairline is gonna look pretty darn natural. So like I mentioned, if you do love Risk by Ellen Villa, you're probably gonna really love Yoko. The, I mean, the main difference in style is that the front is just a little bit longer, the, the crown is a bit longer, um, but the nape is like a little shorter. <laughs> and then of course, Yoko is heat-friendly fibers, Risk is just plain synthetic. If you've tried Yoko before, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. If this is something that you're interested in, let me know what you love about this wig so much and why you want to try it. And if this is something that you are interested in, make sure you go check it out on our website at shikwell.com, shikwell.ca if you're in Canada, or shikwell.com.au if you are in Australia. All that being said though, I'm going to let you go for the day. Have a really wonderful day, whatever it is you're doing, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.